So this is my iPhone 4S with the GPP SIM. Uh, as you can see, it's unlocked to T-Mobile right now. I'm going to eject the SIM card and wait for a second. When it says activation required, uh, usually once that happens, if I try to reinsert the SIM, it won't be able to unlock or maybe I have to wait a really really long time it's easier just for me to reboot the phone so I just wanted to show you because the manufacturer really doesn't mention anything or the seller that sold me this GPP sim didn't mention anything about how to troubleshoot the sim so now you can see the network is gone it says no sim card installed okay once that's happened I'm gonna go ahead and reinsert see how long it takes it's only supposed to take a minute or two to recognize T-Mobile I mean to unlock it to T-Mobile but sometimes you might work if you press the airplane mode on or off but I'm gonna leave this for a few minutes before I try that over here in network it should say T-Mobile and under carrier below here it should say like carrier 14 or something So as you can see I've waited for about two minutes and it still hasn't re-enabled. To T-Mobile. How about I just leave it like this for 30 seconds? 40 seconds. And see if it reconnects. Like I said, usually when I do a hard reset it'll work again but no service so I got like a minute left on my phone so I'm just gonna try the airplane mode mm -mm. Hopefully it connects to T-Mobile.
If you end up getting a GPP SIM, remember to save your activation code. They say it's a one-time use code. Still though, I'm not sure if you need to reuse it. As I said before, when I uh, did a factory reset of my phone, I, I couldn't get it to work through normal methods and I had to reinstall the software and who knows if the software will ask you for the activation code again, so keep it in handy. There are other GPP sims you can buy which might work better for you. So shop around, see which one offers the best best support. And as you can see, my phone's been on for quite a long time. My memory card's about to fill up and I'm going to have to shut this video off and just reboot my phone because it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Okie dokie. Here's uh, my iPhone 4S and uh, GPP SIM that I used to unlock my phone to T-Mobile. This is the package that it came in. Um, I had some trouble trying to get this to work so I just shut off my phone right now putting in as you can see I put the GPP underneath the actual SIM card turn it on So I've had issues with the GPP SIM working to unlock my phone when I've ejected the SIM card and waited a few minutes and tried reinserting it. Uh, usually it doesn't work too well, I have to reboot my phone as you saw over here. Uh, other thing is uh, if you factory reset your phone So if you uh, factory reset your phone, I haven't had luck with uh, getting it to unlock on its own. I'd have to reinstall the software that they suggested I install. Um, So those are the two main hurdles I came with, I've seen while using this GPP SIM. Um, one is that uh, if I remove the SIM card, and as you can see, finally it's recognized T-Mobile up over here under your top left and if you go to settings uh, now you'll see under network it says T-Mobile over here and if I scroll down I can see carrier model 